everyone welcome back to my channel once again if you guys haven't been here welcome my name is donna and i am a mommy of two from washington and a wife to my husband rex So today is Saturday and if you guys didn't know, I am basically a stay-at-home mom. I only work on Saturdays for four hours and this is where I'm at right now. If you guys also don't know, I am a phlebotomist and just to let you know also that phlebotomists are people who specializes in drawing your blood. A lot of people hate going to the laboratories because of us but it is our way of helping you guys find out what is going on with you through your blood. So what you're seeing me do right now is that I am stocking the draw station. It was a pretty busy Saturday that I didn't have time to stock anything and I have used up all of the tubes in the draw station. So now that I am closing down the lab, I have to restock again it's just so when the next co-workers of mine come into work they don't have to do this because i know that they're always busy during the weekdays and this is what i can do for them this is the least that i can do for them so after stocking the draw station here i am at the processing corner i am just trying to put all the blood together that i have spun already and checking them off and making sure that they're all accounted for and as you can see it's 11:35. it's almost time for me to go and this is a cool thing that i wanted to show you guys i'm gonna be transferring the blood from the syringe to the tube here and this I don't know, this just kind of like entertains me a lot when I do it. As you can see here, I didn't put all of the blood in one tube. I had to split them since they are running a different test on the lavender tube. So I had to split five mils of blood into two. Make sure you guys label the tubes after you transfer the blood. I am supposed to be labeling the tubes in front of the patient, but since I was the only one person working today, I had to just remember to label them right away. And what I'm doing here is, like I said, I am closing the lab. I needed to take that iPad out of its little um, container. And this is the first time I'm actually using the iPad login for a patient. And I wasn't trained to take it out of the little holder. So I was just trying to play around with it. And I finally got hey it. Hey guys. So I'm finally done with work. I closed the door. And I had an added responsibility to opening the lab. That is to put in the iPad out on the waiting area there because instead of patients writing down their names on our little clipboard they're gonna have to like check in onto into an ipad so i have to do that but i was in such a hurry this morning that i didn't even say good morning to you guys but good morning or afternoon or good evening wherever you are watching from i am at work today it's a saturday as you guys can see i am closing down the lab i am gonna finish up all the paperwork here i have quite a few more tubes that i need to finish processing i have all that to do not not this one but just these right here and um I have to wait about half an hour for it to clot and then I have to spin it into the centrifuge right there. That's the loud noise that you guys can hear right now. But yeah, I gotta stock the draw stations and then I have to finish up the paperwork and, and then I will see you guys in the car. hello so i am in my car now please excuse this um ugly mess in front of your face 
but I just want to say hi. I don't usually get breaks when I'm working. Oh my god, you're a disaster, Donna. But I don't usually get breaks when I'm working. So I'm just going to go ahead and snack just a little bit. Guys, I look like... I look dead right now. My, I have no color. Hmm. Do I have a lipstick here somewhere so I don't look dead? I think I do. See? And see? Let me put on some Carmex first because as you guys can see, my lips are super uber uber dry. Hopefully, I don't like this this one. I don't like Carmex because it smells, it doesn't smell good. It's just gross. I have this one. I have lip balms everywhere, guys. I have this. I have this. And I know I have another kind of Carmex in the car. I mean, in, in my purse. But which one should I wear? I'm going to wear this one just because I don't know why I am wearing lipstick when I am obviously going to go home and I'm about to eat some seaweed seaweed gets on your lips now that I have lipstick on I need to have my eyebrows on now I'm just gonna do this here I'm just gonna use you guys as my mirror it'll look okay on camera but it'll probably look crappy in person that's okay because I am not going anywhere I am just gonna go straight home and the only people that are gonna see me are my kids and my husband and they have seen me way worse than this okay oh god my hair my hair my hair is a mess okay now we are gonna put on some mascara i don't really freaking need all of this guys but whatever i would put on some cat eye eyeliner cat eyeliner but i will just won't it's too much this is too much that should be enough that should be enough guys so there I look pretty decent now. Maybe I'll wear this headband just so my hair is not crazy. It's probably crazier now, but oh well. There, that's all you're gonna get. That's all you're gonna get from me. I have to put my glasses on though because I'm driving. And I have to open my seaweed because it's not like I can open it with both my Oh, I am not gonna talk to you. Ooh, I am not gonna talk to you guys while I'm driving because it's not safe. I am gonna listen to a podcast here. It's called Mommy Doomsday. It's about this lady called uh, named. It's about this lady named Lori Vallow, who is uh, pretty weird and very spiritual. And she like met this guy, his her supposedly fourth husband. Um, and I don't know. They believe that they were married in the past life, and so now that the doomsday and the end is coming, that they need to like kill all of like the zombies or the ones that are possessed by the evil demon, and that is including her kids. A 17 year old teenager a 17 year old girl and her seven year seven year old autistic son so i'm at that part where they're looking for these two kids now so i'm gonna go ahead and listen to it i've been blabbing for about five minutes almost six i'm gonna go drive home now I are both on your screens again are you guys done with everything that i listed for you guys to do yeah let me see okay clean clubhouse all right clubhouse is kind of clean put away the dishes clean your rooms Put clothes away that's in the hamper in your room. Carlin, Rizo, put away your toys that's in the game room. This is the game room. Okay. Not bad. Let me see the dishes. The dishwasher. <laughs> wow. Okay, your rooms. I go check. Room first. Not bad. Not bad. Did you put away your clothes? Yes, she did. Because the basket's over there. How about this boy? Y'all, now it's still a little cluttery, but I will take it. For a four-year-old, at least there's not much toys on the floor. Bed's kind of made, not as good. Clothes, clothes, that's my job, but it's not bad. Good job, kiddos. Okay, so 
I am going to rest for about 10 minutes and then take a shower and then mommy mode is back on. Phlebotomous mode off, mommy mode on. So I will see you guys after I take a shower. So done showering, back into mommy mode. Rex is making lunch right now. I did not really ask if the kids had lunch already. I was just a little too tired. I rested for about 10 minutes and now I showered. So let's see what the hubby made for lunch. Mm -hmm. mm, you're gonna also. Yeah? Go ahead and brush your hair. Good. <laughs> Last night? Mm -hmm. Try it. Why are you so far? Rex made tomato soup. Which one is, is both the same? Matter. Ham and cheese. Grilled ham and cheese. And Carlin has corn dog, chicken and nuggets, Nutella it's sandwich, delicious. and fruit. Yum. Yummy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why are you so far away? There you go. Hey guys, so it is 5 p.m. now. As you can see on the clock, you probably can't see it, but it is 5 p.m. I just helped Rex out. He's turning the garage, half of the garage, into his gym. So I'm just helping him out. I can't really show you guys what the gym looks like because I'm gonna put that on a whole different video. But we're trying to finish it up first. The kids are playing outside with the neighborhood kids. And I am about to finish up my mask again. It is Saturday today. Rex will be golfing with his friends tomorrow. And we are, me and the kids are finally going to meet my baby niece tomorrow. And um, I wanted to make some onesies for her as well. To like personalize some onesies for her. But in order to do that, I, I have to finish the mask first. And then I'll start making the onesies for my niece. So that's where I'm at. It's almost dinner time. Again, we're probably gonna have late dinner tonight since it's a weekend. Yeah, that's what's going on. There's really nothing really important happening right now. Um, kids are just having fun with the neighbors. And yeah, I'm gonna go and make masks now. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorites. While I was making the mask, I put in this pork belly into the air fryer. It is Carlin and Rizo's favorite food, so I made it for them. It's crispy pork belly and it does look so delicious. I can't wait to eat it. Hey guys, so it is 9.30 at night now. We are done having our dinner. It is time to do the things we usually do at night. The kids are getting ready for bed. Carlin's taking a shower and Rizo is just hanging out. I am gonna do the dishes and clean the whole kitchen. My island's a mess. My stove is still a mess. And remember, I did not do the dishes last night. Well, they are piled up in the sink now. And I am going to go ahead and just load it in the dishwasher tonight. And so it's nice and clean tomorrow. The dinner table is okay. It just needs to get wiped down. And I usually sweep the floor. But I am going to have the Roomba take care of that tonight. I actually have Roomba take care of it every night. Most nights. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the dishes. 
I will end the vlog here. Thank you guys for sticking around. This is day two of me vlogging, which I actually enjoy. The vlog from yesterday, Friday, is all ready to go. I just have to add in a little more, more things to it. So um, keep an eye out for that. I will be uploading it sometime tomorrow. Or I'll be uploading it sometime on Sunday. It's Saturday today, so I'll upload it tomorrow. And this vlog right here will be uploaded on Monday. So cross my fingers that I am able to edit everything by then. I will try to vlog again tomorrow. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.